Assalamu alaikum and greetings to all. The divinity of Jesus is a matter that has remained controversial for centuries upon centuries. This video marks the first episode where we will indulge into the fine details regarding Christology and the divinity of Jesus, whom peace be upon. In order to better understand who Jesus really was from a biblical point of view, we will reference from the Bible and see what the position of Jesus is in biblical scriptures. Today we would like to answer the following question. According to the Bible, does Jesus have the attributes of Almighty God? To approach this question, we need to define what the attributes of God are. The attributes of God are many. However, we will list six standard attributes of God and use them as a criteria for analyzing the divinity of Jesus in the Bible. The attributes of God include that God is all-powerful, God is all-knowing, God is maximally perfect, God is not comparable to the creation, God is independent, and God is worshipped. So let's put Jesus, peace be upon him, to the test and see if the Bible classifies Jesus with these six standard attributes of God. Number one. Was Jesus all-powerful? If we read the Gospel of John, chapter 5, verse 30, we find it states that Jesus said, I can do nothing on my own. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not my own will, but the will of him who sent me. This verse indicates that Jesus claims to not have power over doing anything on his own except by the will of God. Therefore, According to the Bible, Jesus was not all-powerful. Number two, was Jesus all-knowing? Well, if we consider the following biblical verses, we will be able to derive a better conclusion. We find in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 12, verse 32, that Jesus did not know when Judgment Day is, and that God knows when it will be. The verse reads, but about that day or hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. We also find in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 11, verses 12 to 14, that Jesus was hungry and saw a fig tree from a distance. When he reached the fig tree, he found nothing there except leaves, because it wasn't the season for figs to grow on trees. The verse reads, the next day, as they were leaving Bethany, Jesus was hungry. Seeing in the distance a fig tree in leaf, he went to find out if it had any fruit. When he reached it, he found nothing but leaves, because it was not the season for figs. Then he said to the tree, May no one ever eat fruit from you again. And his disciples heard him say it. Therefore. Not only was Jesus hungry, as indicated in this verse, which is an attribute of the creation and not the creator, but he also did not know when the season for figs was. Therefore, Jesus was not all-knowing. Number three, to proceed with the third test, we know that God must be maximally perfect. Was Jesus perfect according to the Bible? Well, let's look at the Bible and see what it says. A man once ran up to Jesus, fell on his knees and said to him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus then responded in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 10, verse 18, and said, Why do you call me good? Jesus answered, No one is good except God alone. Therefore, in this verse, Jesus denies himself of being maximally perfect and gives the complete mastery and perfection to God himself. Number four, in order for Jesus to be God, he must not hold any titles that are comparable to the creation and that do not contradict the role of God. However, we find in the Bible that Jesus was actually a prophet of God and was known by this title around his own people. This is clearly mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 21 verse 11 which states the crowds answered this is Jesus the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee so 
How can Jesus be God and a human prophet of God at the same time? His position as a prophet of God contradicts the role of God, and therefore the biblical Jesus fails to pass this test as well. Number 5. God is of course independent. However, was Jesus independent or dependent? Well, in the Bible, we find that Jesus clearly expresses his dependence on God again in the Gospel of John chapter 5 verse 30 and in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 26 verse 39 in which he states, I seek not my own will but the will of him who sent me in John 5.30 and yet not as I will but as you will in Matthew 26.39. Also, Jesus performed miracles he performed miracles only by the approval and will of God, as mentioned in the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 22, which states, Fellow Israelites, listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth was a man accredited by God to you by miracles, wonders, and signs, which God did among you through him, as you yourselves know. Therefore, according to the Bible, Jesus performed miracles only by the will of God and put his faith and dependence on God alone. Hence, Jesus was not independent, but rather dependent on God. Number 6. God is worshipped. Therefore, for Jesus to be God, he must be worshipped. Well, was Jesus worshipped? We find that not only was Jesus not worshipped, by his people, but also that Jesus himself worshipped God. This is mentioned in the Bible, when Jesus went with his disciples to the Garden of Gethsemane to pray for God to save him from being crucified. It says in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 39, going a little farther, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, My Father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken away from me. Yet not as I will, but as you will. Therefore, not only was Jesus not worshipped, but Jesus himself prayed and worshipped God by bowing with humility and in full submission. This marks the end of the tests. We can now conclude that Jesus cannot be God according to the Bible because he fails to meet the criteria for the attributes of God. The creator and the creation are distinct. Once a creator is compared to the creation, then that creator has failed to meet the standard attributes of God and cannot be the actual creator. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have more questions, then ask a Muslim. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook page. Thank you.